everybody. I'm Molly Wood. Welcome to the Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. It's our annual CES episode. I am on the show floor in Las Vegas at CES 2011, which is basically all about tablets, 3D, 4G, and frankly, just good looking gadgets. I gotta say, it was tough to choose. We're gonna start out with just a few of the many, many, many gadgets of the week. Now, like I said, it was unbelievably hard to choose my gadget of the week, and in fact, I am choosing four, really, out of the millions of cool things that I've seen this week, but it's mainly because Motorola had the press conference of its life at CES 2011. It was like 30 minutes long, and it was a virtual wham-bam, thank you ma'am, of awesome. They come out on stage and we get the Atrix 4G, a dual-core smartphone that is frankly more powerful than, I don't know, the computer I had last year. There's a fingerprint reader here because why not? And it's so powerful that you can actually dock it with this accessory. It's basically a laptop shell and the phone powers it. So you're kind of working on what you think is a laptop, but it's your phone. Okay, awesome one, done. Then we have the Droid Bionic, which is kind of like the big brother to the Droid X that I now really, really regret buying just a few weeks ago. Oh well. Then we have the Motorola Click 2, super popular phone, slide out keyboard, get a new version of that, done. And then the moment of awesome that we've all been waiting for, the Motorola Zoom. Now this is the tablet that had that teaser video on YouTube, you know, the history of tablets. It was snarky, but it looks like they delivered. We haven't seen it fully running the way it's supposed to yet because it's still in development, hasn't been released yet, but the hardware is, well, what we affectionately like to call sex on a stick. And now for the news. Now, just like last year at CES, 3D TV, a huge trend and a very big push. But things are taking on a little bit of a different flavor than last year. For example, at this time last year, manufacturers were telling us that we could buy new $3,000 3D TVs and pay $100 per pair of glasses. That didn't go so great. So this year, there's a renewed focus on TVs that work with those passive glasses, the ones that don't need to be charged and don't cost 100 bucks, and can work with any TV, not just the one that you bought that also made the glasses. But also, companies Toshiba, LG, and Sony are all experimenting with glasses-free 3D TVs. They have working demos at all these booths. We're at Toshiba now, and you can see that's 3D, and that is what I'm talking about. I mean, it's not that awesome for existing 3D TV sales, but at least when I'm ready to buy one, I'll still look cool when I watch it. No surprise, the biggest trend by far at CES 2011 was tablets. So much so that, frankly, I don't think I ever want to hear the word tablet ever again. But there were some cool things. The Motorola Zoom, like we saw earlier, Toshiba showed some off. There were some amazing honeycomb tablets from all kinds of makers. Asus, everybody was doing it. But it was interesting to me how many of them, like for example Samsung, were showing off tablets that in some way incorporated a keyboard or turned like a little bit into a laptop. Made me think maybe the industry is not quite as confident about the whole tablet thing as they pretend they are. Thankfully, there was one phone that did not make an appearance, and I say thankfully because we kind of had enough to deal with. No Verizon iPhone announced during CES. However, there is a Verizon event scheduled for January 11th, so we're all going to be right back to work on Tuesday. Now, you know CES is all about eye candy. There's all that gadget porn. There's booth babes. Sexy cops, really CES, but every once in a while, there's a little something for the ladies. So now, here's my real question. Have you been to CES before? This is my first time to CES. And so, what do you think? Well, as someone who obviously braces, embraces technology and gadgets and toys, 
I mean, it's a wonderland for sure. Have you gotten to see anything yet? I did a quick little, uh, you know, tour around, but I haven't really gotten into it yet. I'm going to wait for my last show, and then I'm going to get into it. And so then what kind of stuff are you doing here? Well, we're talking about how technology and food can make food more delicious. So we're actually doing some snacks and treats with one of my favorite ingredients, liquid nitrogen. So that's pretty technical, right? That's science. That's technology. And if you I can, think you mean pretty terrifying. We're really close to a really large tank is all I'm saying. Is, that, is everything fine here? Everything. You're in good hands. You know, it's a 650-pound tank of liquid nitrogen, but, you know, I can kind of handle it with my hands. So even though there's some big gloves behind me, uh -huh. you're quite safe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I am super excited because I'm actually going to get to participate in a little liquid nitrogen demo. What are we doing here? This is this your first liquid nitrogen experience? It, it is, it is. Right. And I'm more than a little nervous. I hope I have protection. Well, we have to give you your gear, right? So there, there's your cryogenic glove okay. and your goggles. So you're going right. to have to get that on. Here we we'll go. We'll share gloves. I'll have one for my hand. Okay. Here. This may be the first time that anyone's done this, right, with a microphone in one hand. And it is the first. This is world premiere right here. I look good. Huh? CES world premiere. Absolutely. CES world premiere. All right, so... One glove, one. So mic. now this is nitrogen. Actually, you know, just to kind of prove a point, like I said, you know, I can touch it with my hands, but I'm a trained professional. Okay. But you have, you have your, you I'm have, not you have doing that. Yeah. All right. So here's your popcorn sickle. Okay. All right. That's a caramel popcorn ball. My popcorn sickle. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fry it in the liquid nitrogen. Okay. So it's as simple as just taking your popcorn sickle, go ahead and just fry it, and that nitrogen's actually, it's boiling away, and the nitrogen's as cold as frying oil is hot, so you're actually frying it. It's literally, it's sizzling. You want to give it a little turn in there. All right, and then, and then it's going to be. And then here's the great audio, though, is when you actually now you can pull it out, and then just when you take a bite, the crunch of this is going to be amazing. Shall we? Yeah. Here we Cheers. go. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right. Oh god, that is so cold. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. Okay, this is the most fun I've ever had at CES in 10 years. I'm coming here. I'm not making that up. And that's it for this year's CES special, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I think I'm going to get in one of those bubbles and work off some of my excess energy. Oh, wait. I don't have any more excess energy. Thanks for watching.